Hey developers, this is part two of my series of how to make money as a software developer. So if you didn't see the first part, check out here. You can take a look at the first part of our series. Me and Dylan talk about a bunch of offline ways to make money. And in this video, we're going to talk about more ways to make money online as a developer with your skills. So uh, without further ado, let's begin. Oh, uh, one more quick thing. Watch all the way to the end. I'm actually having a giveaway. I actually put the information at the end of this video. I have you do a few things and you can actually get a copy of Dylan's course, which is pretty awesome on algorithms. So watch all the way to the end. Uh, another way, and I think this is, I think this probably is the most profitable and you really don't need to have like a huge audience to do this. So if, maybe if you're a new developer, this might be a way to do it. And that's to create your own products. And there's a lot of different types of products you can create. So we're just going to go down the list real quickly. Uh, so one is uh, if you're doing educational products like online courses. And in Dylan, you've, you've done a bunch of Udemy courses. I've actually just started my first online course where I'm teaching Vue.js and something called Nux.js, um, which you can find on the link below too. And then um, there's sort of, there's this really big market of how you teach other people how to make money too. It's kind of make money online. That Ty Lopez live. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's uh, I I hate that shit. I hate <laughs> like like here we're talking about ideas. This is one video. Like hey, this is some ideas, but you have these people who are just trying to teach you how to. And I, I get the I get the advert. I'm sure you do too. I get advertisements all the time on the YouTube videos. Like hey man, are you sick of your day job? Like <laughs> no shit, everyone's sick of their day job. <laughs> you know, are are you hoping you could make a million dollars a month? Yeah, man, I am. Well. If you buy my 67 steps for just $70, I'll show you how you can do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that, that's the type of, there's so many like scammy make money online products. And then there's so many products that are in between of like make money online, but we're really like, we're, we're promoting this as, you know, teach people how to be successful at yeah. Facebook ads, but it's really just a part of the make money online world. And these courses are usually pretty expensive. But the yeah. ones that the, the positive ones that I think that would be more positive for developers is like creating courses and teachable and, and Udemy. I mean, how's your experience been? So I have um, I've taken the similar approach with Udemy uh, as I have with YouTube, where I learn what I want to learn and I, I, I figure out a way to monetize it because um, I've never wanted to be a YouTuber or anything like that. I just wanted to be a better developer and in the process, if I can make money, great. Um, so Udemy has never really been an item to make money for me. Uh, I, it does okay. It brings me in several hundred dollars a month for the amount of time, energy invested into a course. Um, and you get a big influx right at, at the start. Um, you know, it took me about two and a half to three months for my, my most recent course. And so you're saying, okay, you put in 200 hours into this course, <laughs> you know, even if you get a couple thousand dollars back on it, you made minimum wage <laughs> like at, the, at the end of the day. Um, so uh, to me, it's sort of a, a long-term thing, but it's more about the learning. Uh, but I know other content creators who are making six figures easy on these sorts of things. And you know, it just takes one really successful course. And, you know, as your audience grows, so will your sales in the courses as they enjoy your content. Yeah, I, th I think that's right. I think it just takes some time and practice and building your audience. I know I just talked to Adam Wathen, who is a developer that teaches another Vue.js course. And I happened to be on his podcast uh, yesterday, which should be out in August, by the way. And he has really been successful at creating online courses, but he is doing, and so is a guy named Wes Boss, is probably one, some of the people that might be listening to this might be familiar with. And they've got the system down, like they 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 sell courses for like $30 all the way to you know, $200. And they have really big audiences and they're delivering a lot of value. But when they do product launches, like it's a bad launch if it's less than you know 10,000 or, 30,000 or something like that. And over the course of the life of that product, they, you know, they're making hundreds of thousands of dollars, which is enough for them to live off of. Now, I think those are the exceptions. I think people like you and me um, probably are more what typical people are going to make on products. 
but I think it's a great way to kind of supplement your income too. And I don't know, Brad probably makes probably pretty good money too. I, I don't know anything about his numbers or anything, but I know he, he's done online courses for years too. And he used to work with another company. Yeah. He's, he's, and his, his audience is much larger, right? So like, I think he's at, he's killing it, man. He's around 400,000 plus now on subscribers. Wow. And um, I know like some of his Udemy courses, cause I've taken some of them. He has tens of thousands of people signing up. So mm -hmm. he's, he's doing fine. <laughs> yeah. Another way to make money at books. This is, you can do the self-published route or traditional publishing route. So in the self-published route, you're, um, you can't, anybody can do this really. You just come up with an idea and then you just have to grind it out and write it. And then you have to, but you do have the part of, you have to market it yourself. So this goes back to probably having an audience. Uh, if you don't have an audience, that's going to be sort of difficult. Um, though it is doable. I think both with creating your own products and books, you don't have to necessarily have an audience. So some a new developer that's really gung-ho, that's learning a topic, could create their course and put it up on Udemy. Udemy has a huge following. And you could start making money off that right away. You don't have to have an audience, which is really cool. Yeah, when, when it comes to books, depending on the way that the book is written. But these are sort of items that, for the most part, once you've already put the work in, now it's just about getting the reward. And so you've written your book. You're probably not going to have to do too much work after it's been published. And um, it's just about, okay, who do I, who do, who can I recommend it to? Are there any, can I guest on a podcast? Can I, you know, maybe do some guest blogs on, on, on medium? How can I go about this to get people to check out my book and, and go from there. And it's like, I, I know I have tons of people uh, who reach out and like, Hey, I have a, I have a course or a book. I come on your channel and we'll talk about this topic I'm fluent in and we can, you know, and this is one way that people might go. And if they don't have an audience or they're in the process of building it, they can, you know, collab with other people to try and try and do that. Would you, and the, the other one is traditional publishing where you, you write the book, the publisher edits the book. It does the advertising and marketing usually you get in advance, which in the tech world, I, I've written a couple books myself. Actually, my second book, my Vue.js in action book is going to be out very soon. It's still in the last little bit of typesetting and things like that. But usually, you know, it's a few thousand dollars, could be up to five, ten thousand dollars And then you, um, you get like a, a royalty rate on every book you sell. So it's not going to make you a ton of money. It's just, just that. And once going back to, to your thing, if you worked at McDonald's for those 200 hours you put into the book, you may make more than, than the advance and the money you're going to make off the book. But it, it kind of, the reason you write a book is not to make money, but to kind of build your authority, to build your online presence. Um, it definitely have gotten a lot of referrals for writing books. Uh, have yeah. you thought about writing a traditional book, Dylan? Um, I've started a book. I don't know if I would call it traditional, um, or a traditional published book. Like, what's oh, that? I, yes and no, I've, I've been reached out to and I've declined. I would probably rather just have a book written and then be like, Hey, do you want to publish this? Uh, <laughs> um, part of that is part of what I enjoy about sort of being a self-taught developer and having a YouTube channel is I go at my own pace and I work on what I want to work on. And so for like three months, I was writing this book nonstop and then I stopped and I started building courses and you know, whatever else. Um, but I probably would self-publish just from what I've, from talking with people who have worked with publishers. Um, most of them don't have pleasant experiences. Mm -hmm. And if you have an audience, um, you know, you have somebody to recommend it to and you don't have to go that route. Um, and you can, you can self-publish just an ebook. It's not going to cost you a dime except time. And then if you don't want to do the, you want to do the ebook and you want to do a physical copy, then you might have to say, okay, I'm going to take two, $3,000 and I'm going to order 500 copies of the book or whatever it costs. And we'll see how it goes. Mm, yeah, that could work. Uh, yeah. Was it pack that reached out to you by the way? I'm just curious. I've had pack reach out to me like three times. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I think they've, they've hit up a lot of YouTubers. They, um, my first book when I wrote with Pact Publishing, I, I, uh, I talked to my best friend the next day after I'd signed the contract, and they said, "Yeah, I got the same exact offer you did two weeks ago." I'm like, "Well, you said no," and I said yes. So. Yeah. <laughs> but, but you know, it, I you know, it's not for everyone. Was it a book on React or something? Or 
Uh, they've had so they've reached out to me about Docker. They've reached out to me about and and it's not just book. It's I they've actually Pax actually moved into like video courses as well, and so um, JavaScript, TypeScript, and uh, one on like general web dev, which was a video course for like hey how do you, how you intermingle HTML CSS and they had a syllabus ready and all that sort of stuff. Um, I didn't like the syllabus. That was the one I was kind of interested in, but the syllabus I thought was crap, and I I, I was like no, nah, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to mess with it. And it wasn't. So a lot of these things that we're talking about is, um, you know, making money. But I, I haven't really taken an approach to making money. It's about learning and making money after. And in this case, there wasn't really any value for me to to make a course for them. Although I probably will in the future when I'm bored. Um, but it, I always want to like these are resume builder type things. So we're not doing money here. Um for for like creating a course you can there are people who get very successful on these courses but you shouldn't really take that approach when building a course for somebody else yeah and that actually dovetails nextly last uh my next topic here that create um you can create courses for other people um we just talked about packed actually i actually just signed i'm i'm tentatively going to be doing a really short react course video course for them um, I've never worked with them doing videos. I've only done a book, so uh, you know we'll see how it goes. But I'm I'm kind of interested to see how how well it works. You know, it's not a ton of money, but I'm actually going back to your point of trying to learn. I haven't done much React, so I think teaching a course in React, uh, a, a beginner course, will be a really good uh, way to do it. And also, they give me all the materials too, so I know exactly. I got the syllabus and everything, so I know exactly what I'll be teaching. Uh, so I think that that's going to be kind of cool for me. And also Pluralsight, there's a bunch of places where they'll pay you sort of like almost like a book, kind of, that kind of structure, the same kind of structure you would do if you if you signed up with a book. So you get an advance and then you get royalties. You have to pay back that advance per year. Well, you don't pay it back, but it's paid back on whatever you sell. And so it's I think that's a, a another way of making money too. And uh, t-shirts, hats, apparel, you can certainly sell swag like that. Get that merch. <laughs> merch. I've never sold merch before. Is it, uh, you think it's worthwhile? Is it just depending on how big the audience uh, is and things like that? I don't know, man. I I just have one um, one sort of logo that, I, one, uh, that I've made, and you can get it on like Teespring. It's like the bro, do you even code sort of thing. It's on mug, a t-shirt. And it's made me like $150 and it was way more effort and energy than it was, than it was worth. Um, I do have a new one coming out. Um, I don't really push it too much. Um, so, but now that maybe that YouTube's connected directly, it'll start doing better. So we'll see. Um, although I think maybe it's just the space we're in, but for how much people are, are shipping merch <laughs> around, someone's making some money. Yeah, I, I've seen that I almost uh, there was a couple of YouTube channels, one of which isn't around anymore, that he would like his big thing was going to be merch. And I remember there was like an online feud because like another YouTuber was doing merch and they thought he stole his idea. And it, it's funny and just YouTube funniness. Uh, then uh, I have last, two last things and we'll wrap this up real quickly. So we have coaching. Uh, so if you're a new if you can teach other people to code, you can set up an online Skype call or or Google Hangout or something, and then you can charge them by the hour or half hour to either help them. Sometimes it's just helping them with their homework, honestly. But sometimes it could be um, helping them on one of their projects. So this is different than contracting, where usually these people are like personal developers, like consumers, and they're not businesses. Um, or it might be just like advice, like how to break into the industry. And I know, Dylan, you've done way more of this than I have. I've talked to a few people, but. Yeah, I've, I've probably done about at this point, like 100 mentoring sessions, really. And that, that's really what at least I do for the most part. I did do some tutoring and and like, you know, let me do your code reviews and things like that and see how we can better your code. For, for the most part, the people who reach out are looking for a little bit more guidance of, hey, I'm making a career change or, hey. You know, am I going there on the right path? You know, um, those types of questions. And it, it's it's a it's a lucrative um, item, you know, but typically you're doing one hour segments sort of thing. Uh, so it's not like a continual uh, income stream. 
Yeah, and I bet after a while those definitely could be like mentally exhausting too, just trying to figure out other people's problems and trying to coach them through things. Yeah, it's it's always hard because you want to help them, right? Um, you know, a lot of YouTubers, part of the reason we do it is we want to help other people because uh, you know, we like that's just something we enjoy doing. And sometimes you get those people who think that for the one hour session you're going to solve all their problems <laughs> and um in reality that's like their 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 outlook on things is the problem and we can't change that um but it it is very exhausting because you're you're in my case it's an hour long and i'm talking and i'm explaining and i'm just sort of you know just it, teaching is an exhausting task so i was tutoring my girlfriend uh, yesterday in html and css and it was just 30 minutes and by the end of it i was just like exhausted uh, cause it's like, you know, you have to, you have to slow yourself down. You have to articulate what it is. You have to understand that they understand and actually tell when they say yes, that they're lying. Like that is the key as well. That's a good point. Yeah. And it's not cheap too. Obviously, you know, if you want one in one time with somebody, you're, you're gonna have to pay a little extra money. I, I, um, the way that I come out about the amount I charge on coaching is I charge two and a half times my hourly salaried rate. So, um, you know, you have to already work a 40 hour week. So if I'm going to show up, it's got to be a little bit more. And that's sort of the number that I came up with. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, and the last thing is kind of, this kind of goes back to your offline contracting. Uh, it's kind of the same thing. You can do contracting online. You can do it offline. Um, kind of going back to the point we said earlier, if you're doing online contracting, what I mean by that is more remote. It's a little bit harder to do remote work for people um, if you're a new developer you might be able to swing it a little bit if you're, if you were, um, just depends on who you're working with and what company you're working with. And this goes with just doing remote for a business too. Uh, usually it's harder to do, but there's definitely tons of contracting. You can sign up for one of these sites that you could just put your resume up and people will contact you. Um, you can, you can be a top coder. I think, I guess is one of them too. I've never used it, but there's a lot of opportunities for contracting online. And I think that that just about wraps it up. Thank you, Dylan. Um, can you tell everybody uh, where people can go to find you and maybe mention your course one more time? Yeah, yeah. I'm always down to mention my courses. So uh, you can uh, you can check out my course uh, in the description. It's the 100 Algorithm Challenge. So you can prep for your uh, next uh, JavaScript interview. And then um, you can check out my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash coding tutorials 360, uh, where I do tutorials, topics, and everything in between that's software related. Cool. All right. Thanks, Dylan. Yeah, thank you. Hey, thank you for watching. I think that was quite a few topics we went over. So there's a lot of different ways you can make money online and offline. So thank you for watching all the way to the end. There is a special gift I want to give to you guys. So for those of you who are interested, Dylan has a new course out where he goes over a hundred different algorithm problems. It's on Udemy, but I have a few copies to give away for free. So I'll give two copies away to uh, some of my favorite people. So all you need to do to answer, enter this contest is leave a comment below. Make sure you click that subscribe button. You have to be a subscriber and then leave a comment below and tell me a couple things you learned from this video. And uh, probably a week from now, I'll pick two people to get that course for free. So make sure you leave a comment below, click on subscribe, also thumb up the video, and uh, let me know what you learned uh, from this video, and I will get you a free copy of the course. So thanks everybody for watching.